ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಟೆನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ದೇವಹುತಿರುವಾಚ ನಿರ್ವಿನ್ನಾನಿತರಾಂಬೂಮನ್ ಅಸತ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ತರ್ಶನಾತ್ ಏನ ಸಂಭಾವ್ಯಮಾನೇನ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನಾಂತ ತಮ ಪ್ರಭೋ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಡಿವೈನ್ ರೇಸ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶೀಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾತ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ದೇವಹುತಿ ಸೈಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಸೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬೆನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಬೈ ಮೈ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ for because of the sense disturbance my lord i have fallen into abyss of ignorance perfect by his divine rasasi patyavedanta swami shrila prabhupa jay prabhupa here the word asat indriya tarsanat is significant asat means impermanent temporary and indriya means senses thus asat indriya tarsanat means from being agitated by the temporarily manifest sense of the material body we are evolving through the different stages of material bodily existence sometimes in a human body sometimes in an animal body and therefore the engagement of our material senses are also changing anything which changes is called temporary or asat we should know that beyond this temporary senses are our permanent senses which are now covered by the material body the permanent senses being contaminated by matter are not acting properly devotional service therefore involves there therefore involves freeing the senses from this contamination when the contamination is completely removed and the senses act in the purity of unalloyed krishna consciousness we have reached sat indriya or eternal sensory activities eternal sensory activities are called devotional service whereas temporary sensory activities are called sense gratification unless one becomes tired of sense gratification there is no opportunity to, to hear transcendental messages from a person like tapila devahuti expressed that she was tired now that her husband had left home she wanted to get relief by hearing the instruction of lord tropila the sense of bhakti vedanta purport bande hang the following is a class on the shri mahat bhagavatam third canto 25th chapter text number 7 given by his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhu pad recorded on november 7th 1974 so this material world is described in the Vedic literature as darkness. <coughs> Actually it is darkness, therefore we require the sunlight, the moonlight, the electric light. If it had not been darkness, then why so many light arrangements? Actually it is darkness. Artificially, we uh, made it light. Uh, <clears throat> Therefore, Vedic injunction is that don't keep yourself in the darkness. Tamasi ma, jyotir gaon, go to the light. That light is the spiritual world. Uh, that is, uh, directly, the effulgence 
or bodily rays of Krishna. Jasya prabha prabhavato jagadanna koti koti shu asesha vasudhadi vibhuti hinnam tad brahma nishkalam anantam asesha bhutam govindam adi purusam tamaham majam. So, <clears throat> real business of especially of human being, the animals, they do not know, they have no capacity to know that we are in the darkness. <coughs> darkness of knowledge and actually darkness. So one has to be become nirvinya, disgust. One intelligent man should be disgusted. Uh, one must be intelligent to know that I am eternal. Nahannate hannamane sarire. It is the preliminary study of Bhagavad Gita. Krishna is instructing about the constitutional position of the soul. Nahannate hannamane sarire. Uh, na jayate, na mriyate, kadachit, kadachit. At any time, the soul does not take birth, does not die. Uh, and more explicitly it is said, na hannate hannamane sarire. The covering, the body is the covering uh, so after destruction of this body, the soul is not destroyed. Just like if I change my shirt and coat, or somehow or other the shirt and coat is destroyed, I, the person who puts on this dress, am not destroyed. Uh, this simple knowledge is instructed in the beginning of the Bhagavad-gītā. There are so many big, big scholars, big, big leaders, and still they cannot understand that I am not this body. Uh, this is the result because they do not study Bhagavad-gītā in the proper way. Uh, we have got so many leaders, big, big leaders, they are teaching Bhagavad-gītā. But no, nobody is fully aware or convinced that I am not this body. This is called darkness. This is called darkness. And when one becomes disgusted with this darkness or this position in the darkness, uh, that is human life. Tasmad gurum pravadeta jignasu sre uttamam. Such person who has become disgusted with this material existence, he requires the instruction of a guru. So here, Devahuti, because she is the wife of a great yogi, she understands what is the constitutional position of herself, and he has got her son, the uh, incarnation of God. So she is uh, putting her uh, many problem to the teacher. It doesn't matter uh, because Kapil Dev is the son of Devahuti. Devahuti uh, does not deny to take instruction from him. He does, she does not say, oh, he is my son. What he, he can instruct me? I am his mother. I shall instruct. No. Oh, instruction has to be taken uh, from the person who is in knowledge. It doesn't matter uh, what is his position. It doesn't matter whether he is son or a boy or a sudra or a brahmana or a sannyasi or a grihastha, it doesn't matter. You should take instruction from a person who knows, who is in the knowledge. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission. 
he said when he was talking with Ramananda Rai, Ramananda Rai was a Shudra by caste. We have got the four division, Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya, Shudra. So he was, Ramananda Rai was by caste a Shudra. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was a high-class Brahmin. Not only Brahmin, he was a sannyas, the most exalted post. First of all, he is Brahmin. Of course, unless one is Brahmin, he cannot take sannyas. That's a fact. So he was, from social point of view, uh, he was son of Jagannath Misra, grandson of Nilamma Chakravati. Personally, he was learned scholar, born in a very high-class Brahmin, very beautiful body, young man, all qualified. And he was taking instruction from Ramananda Rai, who was a Sudhya. Uh, the Chaitanya Chaitamrita, you will find. So Ramananda Rai, he was not only Shudra, he was Griyastha, and he was a politician, governor of Madras, governor of Madras. But he was very exalted in spiritual knowledge. So after converting Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu decided to go to the southern part of India, South India, at that time, Sarvamo Bhattacharya, he was a very learned scholar, logician, nayai. So he wanted to teach Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because he was a young man. But later on he accepted Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as his guru. He was impersonalist, mayavadi, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained to him the Vedanta Sutra the Vedanta Sutra is personal philosophy. So he was convinced and he became his disciple. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was going to South India for his touring, he specially requested him that I neglected this person Ramananda Ra. Uh, he was talking with me about spiritual subject matter, very highly elevated. Uh, that I thought that he was a sentimentalist, so I neglected him. But I can understand now that he is very exalted personality. When you are going to South India, please meet him. Uh, please try to meet him. He will be very much pleased. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, at Kabbu, he met Ramananda Rai and he was talking about uh, spiritual uh, subject matter, very highly elevated, simply. So because he was born in a Sudra family and a Griyasata and a politician, so he was hesitant. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Brahmin and Sanyasi, such an hesitant. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said that kiva vipra kiva sudra nasi kane noy jai krishna tattva vetta sai guru ha. Don't hesitate. Why you are hesitating? Because you are grihastha or you are uh, in politics or you are a born of a sudra family. Why you are? I am learning from you. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's preaching. Uh, he did not think anyone uh, negligible. Uh, anyone who is qualified with Krishna consciousness, he can become guru. It doesn't matter where he is born, uh, what is his family and <coughs> identification, it doesn't matter. He must know the science. It is very practical. Just like when you go to concert an engineer or a medical man or uh, some lawyer, you do not ask him whether he is a Brahmin or Shudra. If he is qualified, if he can help you in the particular subject matter, you consult with him, you take his help. That is practical. So similarly, in the spiritual matter, it doesn't matter what he is. If he knows 
Krishna, then he can become Guru. It doesn't matter. So here also, Devahuti, uh, she was taking lesson from her son because the son knew the science of Krishna. It doesn't matter whether one is son or one is something else, or born in Suddha family or Brahmin family or a sannyasi. We are concerned with the science of Krishna. That is required. Chanakya Pandit also, he was a politician. You know Chanakya Pandit. Under his name, there is New Delhi, a quarter, Chanakya Puri. He was a great politician, prime minister of uh, Ma, Samrat, Emperor Chandragupta. He also advises, he has got a moral instruction, Chanakya Slo. He says that Vishadapi Amritam Grahyam, uh, in the poison pot, if there is nectar in, you should accept. Don't neglect it because it is on the poison pot. You are concerned with the nectar. Take it. Vishadapi Amritam Grahyam Amidhyat Api Kanchanam. In a filthy place, uh, suppose in your laboratory, uh, in a very filthy place, there is gold. So it doesn't matter. You should take it, gold. It is not that the gold is in the filthy place, therefore you should not touch it. The other metal you should cannot touch. That is bathing in them. But gold you can take. Amidhyat api kanchanam vishadapi amritam grayam amidhyat api kanchanam nichadapi duskuladapi you can take some teachings even one is born in lower grade family and your wife you can accept even she is if she is qualified and sri ratnam duskuladapi sri ratnam ratnam means jewel if one girl is very qualified or beautiful, even she is born of lower family, uh, you must accept. You can marry. Uh, this is Chanakya Pandi. Sri Ratnam Duskuladapi Vishadapam Matam Grahyam Amidhyadapi Kansu Nichadapi Vidya. If a man born in niche, in lower grade family, but if he is qualified, uh, it doesn't matter. That is practically being done. So uh, this is Vedic system. Not that one is lower in the estimation of the society by birth or so on, but he must be qualified. So here also it doesn't matter. Uh, this is this is going under the Vedic system. Devohite does not deny to take instruction from her son. Uh, see, it is, it is the system. It doesn't matter whether he is inferior. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta Sai Guru. You will accept anyone as Guru if he knows the science of Krishna. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed everyone to become a Guru. The world is suffering for want of Krishna consciousness. That was his mission. He wanted that from India everyone should become a guru and preach outside. Because there is no Krishna consciousness. That is Chaitanya. Amar Agnai Guru Hoya. Taro Shadbodis or Taro Aidis. You become a guru on my order. And you deliver your country or other countries. So I have no so called qualification, I have no education. Uh, how can I become guru? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Amar Adnai, by my order. Then what is your order, sir? Now my order is, Jare Dakho Tare Kaho Krishna Upadis. This is my order. You simply uh, explain what Krishna has said or 
what has been said about Krishna. That is Krishna Upadesha. Krishna Upadesh means what Krishna is in acting. The Bhagavad Gita, the Supreme Personality, Krishna, he is instructing. That is Krishna Upadesha. And Srimad Bhagavatam is speaking about Krishna. That is also Krishna Upadesha. Uh, Krishna Upadesha is the Krishna Upadesha. Uh, and Krishna, uh, and subject matter of Krishna and Upadesha, that is also Krishna Upadesha. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that you simply preach Krishna Upadesha. Then you become Guru. Amaragai Guru Hiya Taro Yai Desh Jare Dakho Tare Kaho Krishna Upadesh. Not only that, he has empowered all Indians. Bharat Humite Manusha Janma Hilo Jar. Janma Shartha Kori Karu Paropoka. This Krishna consciousness movement, uh, to spread this Krishna consciousness movement, is the best welfare activity in the human society. The best. Uh, there is no more better welfare. There are so many welfare activities in the human society. But uh, this Krishna Pades, to instruct people about the uh, primary uh, principles of Bhagavad Gita in the human society, that is the best parabhaka. Uh, people do not know how to become happy. They are manasasthāṇi indriyāṇi prakṛti-sthāṇi karasati. They are simply making struggle for existence by mental concoction. Manasasthāṇi-indriyā. Uh, in this material world, they are simply struggling. Uh, there is no solution. Uh, therefore, uh, the, every Indian should study Bhagavad-gītā and if possible, Śrīmad-bhāgavadam and assimilate it and preach all over the world. This is the duty of India. Uh, India has no other duty. Parapaka. Uh, so, with our one man's endeavor, teeny effort, you, we can see that so many outsiders that are attracted to Krishna consciousness. Unless there is something substance, they are not illiterate, they are not fools, they are not poor. Why they are attracted? There is something to be learned from Krishna Consciousness. So if this Krishna Consciousness movement is spread all over the world regularly, uh, then the face of the world will change. Uh, that's a fact. sarve uh, na bhavantu This is the Vedic mission. Let everyone become happy. And how he will be happy? Uh, he cannot become happy by mental concoction. That is not possible. Uh, Manorathena asato dhavato bahi. If one is situated on the mental platform speculating, he will simply uh, uh, go to the asat. Asat means this material world. Asatoma, sadgama. Basically, say, don't remain in this asat. Come to the sat, uh, om tat sat. So, the if one is on the mental speculation, manufacturing something for the welfare of the human society, that is not possible. Uh, human society cannot be happy without Krishna consciousness. That's a fact. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhoktanam Jagatabhusam Sarvalupa Mahesaram Sridam Sarvabhutanam Gyatya Mam Shanti Nichati. If you want shanti individually or collectively, nationally or internationally, then you must become Krishna conscious. What is that Krishna conscious? Somebody is that Krishna is the supreme enjoyer. Bhokta. We are not bhokta. We are simply servant. Just like anywhere, there is a master and the servant. The master is the enjoyer, and the server, servant is helping the master enjoy. This is the process. So we living entities, we are eternal servant of God or Krishna. 
when you speak of Krishna, it means God. So we are eternal servant of God. So our duty is to help the master to enjoy. Just like here is Krishna, uh, the Sama, uh, Sima, uh, Ra, Simati Rani, uh, uh, she is the topmost uh, servitor of Krishna. Uh, so her business is to keep please always Krishna. That is that is the symbolic representation. Uh, Radha, Radha means anayar, aradhate. She is serving. Uh, the best service. Anaya Aradha. Therefore, Krishna is very much fond of Radha because he gives the best service to Krishna uh, in so many ways. Uh, she has got 64 qualifications, that is mentioned. Uh, therefore, she is so, uh, I mean to say, pleasing to Krishna. Anaya Radha. Iti Radha. So, our business is also like that. We are eternal servant of Krishna and we should give, uh, render, we should render service to the best of capacity. Uh, that is our real constitutional position. But here uh, Devahati says that Bhumam asad indriya tarsana, asad indriya tarsana. At the present moment, in this material world, we are busy to uh, enjoy these material senses. Uh, this is our position. Everyone is satisfied. Indriyāni parārāhu indriyabha param manā manasastu paro buddhi In this way you go. And when you go beyond the range of buddhi, that is so. That is spiritual platform. And they, ordinarily, we are in the material platform. We are interested in gratifying senses. I like it. I must. I must. But that sense gratification means we are becoming implicated, implicated in the laws of nature. That is also stated in the Shastra. Nunang pramatta kuruti vikarma. Jat indriya prītaye āprinoti nasādha manne jato ātmanayam asannapi klesa deyāsa deha. This is the instruction in the Vedic literature that the people in this material world, they are very, very busy. Not only men, even the animals, even the birds, beasts, insects, uh, you see, on the beach, there are so many dogs, uh, and they are assembled there for sex. Uh, so this is the material world, in the ability. Uh, therefore, uh, Shastra says that human lives should be considered. They should think whether we shall spoil our lives simply by sense gratification or there is some other business. Uh, yes, there is some other business. That is tapasya. That is tapasya means we should restrict sense gratification. Sense gratification, uh, either regulated or non-regulated, is meant for animal life. Uh, sense control is the human life. Uh, therefore, you will find in Vedic uh, culture, uh, big, big learned scholars, big, big kings, they dedicated their life for tapasya. Tapo dibbhanga putraka jena suddheta satta. If you want to purify your existence, then you must take to the process of tapasya. Tapo dibbham. And what is the tapasya? Tapasya for realization of God. And then we shall be purified. What is the meaning of purify? Purification. Purification means we are eternal. And if we become purified from this material contamination, then we get back our eternal life, back to home, back to God. That is the God. That is for that uh, we have to accept little tapasya, uh, not to become sense gratified like the dogs and hogs. Uh, that is not civilization. 
नायं देह देह भाजांग लोके कष्टान कामान अरहति वीर भुजांग जी दिस ह्यूमन लाइफ शुड बी रेगुलेटेड इन सच अ वे दैट ही हैज नॉट गॉट टू सेटिस्फाई दिस सेंसेस आफ्टर टेकिंग सो मच हार्ड लेबर द मॉडर्न सिविलाइजेशन इज लाइक दैट एवरीवन इज एंगेज इन हार्ड लेबर simply for satisfaction of the senses uh, so they have become mad no long pramat kurute and they are acting without any consideration of the effect they do not consider whether it is sinful or not uh, they do not believe in the next life they do not discriminate what is sinful what is uh, pious nothing exactly uh, like animal so shastra say uh, this is not good here also devahuti says that bhuman asat indriya darshana asat indriya this actually these senses are not real senses it is covered uh, just like my this body covered with this shirt or this cloth it is not my real body although you see this heart has got a hand that hand is not real hand the real hand is within this heart similarly our real body is within this body dehi nasmin jatha dehi 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 no dehi no means the real body or the spiritual body of the soul is within this body dehi nasmin jatha dehi and the body is changing कौमार जो मन जरा इट इज समाइम्स चाइल्ड समटाइम्स यूथ समटाइम्स यंग मैन समटाइम्स ओल्ड मैट एंड देन वैनिस देर आर सिक्स चेंजेस सो दिस इज नॉट रियल बॉडी बट एंड वी आर एनगेज इन दिस अनरियल बॉडी सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन वी हैव गॉट सेंसेस भगवत गीता से सुखम आतंत्रिक जतिंद्रिय ग्राह्यम अतिंद्रिय ग्राह्यम बियॉन्ड दिस सेंसेस दैट फॉर दिस सेंसेस आर टू बी प्यूरिफाइड दैट इज कॉल्ड तपस्या तपोदेवांगी विनिर्मुक्त तत्पर तीन निर्मल when we purify our senses uh, senses you cannot destroy that is not possible uh, just like some some body says that you become desireless desire desire is the mental activities so we cannot be desireless that is not possible uh, we have to purify the desire that is the uh, that is a command सर्वपाधि विनिर्मुक्त तत्पर तेन निर्मल ऋषिके न ऋषिके सेवन भक्ति रुच भक्ति मीन्स दैट भक्ति मीन्स दैट यू आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू डिस्ट्रॉय योर सेंसेस बट यू हैव टू प्यूरिफाई योर सेंसेस एंड वेन यू प्यूरिफाई योर सेंसेस देन यू कैन सर कृष्ण सर्वपाधि निर्मल सेंसेस ऋषिकेना बाय द सेंसेस ऋषिकेश सेवनम सर ऋषिकेश द मास्टर ऑफ द सेंसेस कृष्णा सेंसेस वी आर जस्ट लाइक पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ कृष्ण जस्ट लाइक दिस हैंड और दिस फिंगर एट पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ माय बॉडी सिमिलरली वी आर आल्सो सेंसेस पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ द स्पिरिचुअल बॉडी ऑफ कृष्ण सो when we purify ourselves then we act in our original constitutional position that the finger is meant for serving my body similarly we when as soon as we are in the position of our original uh, constitution then we serve krishna uh, so yeah devahuti says that bhuman asad indriya darshana Uh, 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 I am in this material world. In simple word, there is a Bengali word. 
कृष्ण भूलिया जीव भोग वंछा करे पासे ते माया तारे जापोटिया धोरे वी आर प्योरली पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ कृष्ण वी आर एक्चुअली द सेंसेस ऑफ कृष्ण एंड व्हेन वी फॉरगेट दिस पोजीशन एंड वी वांट टू सेटिस्फाई आवर सेल्फ दैट इज आवर मटेरियल कंडीशन कृष्ण भूलिया जीव भोग वंछा करे पासे ते माया माया तारे जापुटिया धोरे देन दैट इज माया व्हेन यू आर इन इग्नोरेंस दैट वी आर द पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ द सुप्रीम बीइंग एंड आवर ड्यूटी इज टू सेटिस्फाई हिम ऋषिकी न ऋषिकी सा सेवनम दिस इज कॉल्ड भक्ति व्हेन यू फॉरगेट इट देन यू आर फॉलन इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड एंड यू आर बिजी in our personal sense gratification and implication implication means so long we will have will continue to have this desire to satisfy our senses we have to accept another body uh, according to our desire krishna is so kind if we want to become a tiger krishna will give it. next life a tiger's body and if you want to be a devotee he will give it. The same body. Uh, if we want to eat stool, then he will give it the body of a pig. Uh, uh, and if we want to, that requires our own qualification. Karma na do even a train. Janti devo brata de iman ki train janti bide. It is a preparation for the next life, as you want to enjoy your senses. Uh, so. Why not prepare yourself to go back to home, back to God, eh? and prepare your senses like that? That is Krishna consciousness movement. Thank you very much.